Holy crap, you guys. We hit 5.6k views on yesterday's video. Good job, good job. Proud of the community for giving a shit about my videos. And we're about to hit 1k views for today's video. Cool shit. Check it out. 572 subs. Went in front. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all the comments and everything. And I'm always looking them up. Today I'm going to be just doing a small video showing the my favorite comments. If you guys have a comment and I post it on here, you win a cookie. Yay. I'm definitely saving this comment. I really like this comment. <laughs> It reminds me of uh, the old days of buying and selling rune scimitars. I can't even count how many positive comments I've gotten from you guys. Like this one here. Or these two here. Fra Brown asks why I have such a high defense level and I'm basically I do not want to die and I do not want to PK. Not yet anyway. I don't think I can PK other than maybe a Dorix. But that's incredibly, incredibly difficult. Getting Dorix, full Dorix. So I don't think I have much chance of PKing on this account. Especially because I'm already at a disadvantage with being an ultimate. As far as I know, I am allowed to use the Nightmare Zone Coffer in PvP World. I know, man, I'm, d I'm trying to die. The only reason why people watch my videos. If you guys have any questions about Ultimate Iron Man specifically, or whatever I'm doing, you're more than welcome to ask uh, specific strategies. I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to be covering every strategy in one comment. I really, really got to remember to use this edgy to arty trick. Also, somebody yesterday told me that you can talk to one of the Alcrid Shanty Pass guards and they will put you in jail for some reason. And that's a pretty quick way to get from Alcrid to Port Serum. Honestly, guys, if you attack me and you are a subscriber, I do not care. It's part of the game. I would prefer to be attacked, to be honest. But now that I've got teleport, snares, and going to get epic food, I don't think you're going to stand much of a chance against me running away. <laughs> and here's that comment I was talking about earlier. Thank you, man. You've been with me since the beginning. Every time I die, we are all going to say F at least one time. Hello there says, yes, more videos, you fucking piece of shit. I love you. Notice me, senpai. <laughs> so at the beginning of Iron Man mode, Jabram got 70 crafting with this method here. Basically, you collect seaweed on Entrana and you get buckets of sand from either charters or there's a sand pit on the island. And then you can make anything out of glass with the furnace there. It's very low XP, about five or six K XP an hour, but it serves its purpose if I cannot world hop and I have a difficulty of getting crafting XP. This guy's been here with me since the beginning. Hey man. This guy's face is freaking awesome. Thank you guys for your love and support. As you guys can see, I try to comment on every other comment, so <laughs> this is probably my funniest dub. This guy has tried to kill like two or three different splashers that I broadcast and he watches my videos. He's almost always the first person to comment. So congrats to you for getting uh, some cookies. Thank you, Stratosphere. Wasn't that a dub of the GameCube in Drake and Josh on Nickelodeon? This guy found me yesterday on YouTube and he's been an awesome supporter. I love his comments. They're freaking hilarious. If I knew him in real life, he'd be my best friend. I got really lucky with this episode. Basically, I teleported and got the teleblock message after I already teleported. Josh64big has been supporting me since the beginning. I think I'm a pretty unique YouTuber. I, I don't know. I, I make videos based off how I want to see them. And hopefully you guys do too. And I know a lot of people don't. It's, it's either you really like it or you really don't. Is what it comes down to. This guy tried to kill a splasher on the waterfall quest. I dropped my two ropes and I accidentally touched the urn and I had to go get ropes again. Very painful moment, but a very hilarious one at the, at the least. Another rope comment. Glad you're enjoying it, Dyslexia. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying the series. I was smashing my keyboard this part for lols. This was a very common question. The reason why I did cave bugs was to get my defense extremely high, my hit points very high. It's really not recommended unless you are a defense pure or some kind of defense tank. This guy found a very, very funny two-second cutscene that I didn't even see after seeing about five times of editing. And it's very, very funny. I'm going to show it right now. <laughs> yep, I was reaching his pants, I guess. So in episode 11, we covered this spot here. And I did not know that this agility shortcut was here. 
Only two people knew about it, and seven people did not. So I have no idea how I did, how I've never known about that agility shortcut. I mean, I guess I don't travel from Varrock to Drainer very often. This is the episode where I dropped my tinder box that saved my life about three or four times. Press F to pay respects. I had three hilarious explosions. Glad you're enjoying the videos. Alex Brown. My name is Alex as well. <laughs> this guy was explaining one of the very, very big contributions to why splashing is such a huge thing today. Glad you're enjoying the videos, Sudwood. And some more lovely comments from yours truly. Hello there. Glad you're enjoying the series, man. Troy Morgan asks why we attack cave bugs with that cannon thing, which is an event RPG. Basically, it makes your attack ticks from 2.4 seconds to 1.8 seconds per rotation, aka 4 ticks to 3 ticks, and it makes your XP per hour pretty fast. 2.5k XP an hour. Don't do it. This guy wants to know how Slayer was on the day of release, and I will get definitely have to do a video about that someday. Ooh, good luck on your Ultimate Iron Man adventure, Chicken Cat. Let me know. That may be true, watch, but it's the best weapon for one defense peers. Nice personality tits, I mean personality. I gotta get more backup strats for my backup strats for my backup strats. Dyslexia asks, will I ever be making a separate series for my main account? Um, unfortunately, Ultimate Iron Man is a lot of grind. So, streaming it or doing YouTube videos is not that fun, but if I do bossing, I think that will be very, very popular. Like 1k Zora streak. Sir CD asks why I don't get my strength level up. Um, I do not want to kill a cave bug and I do want to AFK. This guy recommended me to change my series title to Dead Man Mode. It's been a very popular request, but it's not exactly Dead Man Mode. Just like Bodhi's self sufficient account isn't exactly Iron Man Mode. Black Ray's Masta says, Love in the series, keep it up. By the way, love your laugh and your backup strats. <laughs> yeah, I have to record and edit my laughs four times and it causes me to laugh which causes a laughception <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for everything let me know how i did on reddit the links in the description if i get a lot of positive feedback i will definitely be doing this video tomorrow i really enjoyed this one definitely not something i'm used to i'll see you guys tomorrow